Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. We continue this series on DFM for machines by talking about something much, much more important than mere distance between rollers. Here, we talk about the distance between key processes. There is one design guideline that should never, ever be broken for certain processes. That is, inches is better than feet, and yards are simply unacceptable. In the metric system, we would simply say, shorter is better. This guideline applies to key processes. Which processes these might be are illustrated in three common examples that follow. There are many others. When this matters is whenever we must register two elements. To register means that we might need to care about CD position, MD position, angular skew, length, and width. All five elements are vitally important in multicolor printing. However, even with something as simple as trim slitting, we must register the slitters with respect to the edges. That means we must control the web's CD or centerline position and how wide the web is as it enters the slitter section and how wide it is inside the slitter section. Failure to control centerline path means you must throw away more trim. Failure to control width prior to slitting means you must throw away more trim. Failure to control width inside the slitter section means width control tolerances will suffer, as we detailed in our Web 101 class. Slitters and winders are some of the very most common of components. So, let's continue with another example there. What is essential for good roll edge quality is to not have even one more roller than necessary between the slitter and the windup. If the slitter is some distance away, you will have poor roll edges always and forever. That is because the slitter is the last place where you had control of the edge. After that, it is like an arrow released from a bow. The longer the distance, the more the scatter, simply because the world is not perfect. However, even if you had a perfect machine with perfect rollers and perfect tension controls, your roll edge quality would still noticeably suffer because your web is not perfect. I have seen side-by-side -side sister machines running the same material where there was a two-roller extra distance on one of the machines and you could see the worst roll edge quality at a glance from across the room. Now, if we also recall that the unwind must be placed close to the slitters to reduce trim that is thrown away, and the slitters must be placed close to the winder to get good roll edges, we see we have little choice than to design a compact machine. This was the first commandment of web machine design as I've preached on many occasions. The bag making industry is a half a century old and pretty big. Unfortunately, experience does not always translate into common sense best practice design. Specifically, we want the cross seal and the cross cut to be as close to each other as can be packaged. In other words, inches or a few centimeters at most. If not, 
you might have MD registration move more than two centimeters or one inch. Just last week, I saw something like this on a brand new machine, largely due to having the cut more than three rollers and two meters away from the seal. These are not commercially viable tolerances on any product I am aware of. The printing industry is by far the oldest and largest of all of the converting industries. As such, we would expect that they have some things figured out. This is mostly true with regard to registering print patterns because that is their business. While most printers are color one, roller, 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 color two, etc., there are very few rollers and very short spans between print decks on most printing machines. Some printing machines even take registration to its ultimate conclusion. That is, no rollers and no free web between printing decks. Here, I am referring to the Central Impression Drum printers, known as CI Printing for short. These are the most accurate printing machines ever constructed. The reason is that once the web is laid down on the drum, it cannot move in the CD. It cannot change width. It cannot move in the MD. It cannot change length, and it cannot get skewed. The print-to-print -print tolerances are as close as you can make and place the printing stations. Now, I am not suggesting that everyone adopt this extreme because the equipment is massive and massively expensive. It is just that it illustrates the principle that the distance between key processes as it goes to zero, tolerances approach zero. The shortest distance possible design guideline is both brutally simple and brutally unforgiving. As such, there will always be people who want to be a successful exception. So I will give you a couple. The first way is to have perfect rollers and perfect tension and perfect webs all at the same time. The other way is to spend lots of money on fancy controls placed on extremely precise mechanicals. So, for example, you can control edge position with an edge guide. You can control MD registration in some cases with what is called a compensator and in other cases with an ultra-fast servo motor that can cheat on the blank part of the web by advancing forward or back if the product allows. Of course, all of these require very accurate sensors and very accurate controllers to achieve tolerances less than a few hairs thicknesses. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will discuss a topic important for DFM of both materials and machines. That is, the costs and benefits of modular designs.